don't have it written down. This is a very, very important piece to success. It's a principle of success. Every wealthy person knows this. I don't know nobody wealthy don't have a vision board. I don't know nobody wealthy don't have their stuff written on a piece of paper. I don't know nobody. I know a lot of people doing good. We have discussed it at great lengths. They showed me some of their vision boards that well, I had to go back and change mine. I went, whoa, whoa, whoa. But you got to have a vision board. It's got to be written down. You know why? Because that's a scripture too. Habakkuk 2 and 2. Go, I know where this one at. Habakkuk 2 and 2. Go home and read that one. It says, write the vision and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, that means take a long time, wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. Man, I'm telling you real now. What I'm telling you works. This ain't no magic trick. If you up your ask and you write everything you want from God on a piece of paper, now, here's the exercise I want you to do. This going to trip you out. Write everything you want from God on a piece of paper. Be as detailed as you can. Write it down. The object for you is to write down 300 things. Because I know 300 things that you could use. It's going to be hard for you. When you get to number 75, you're going to get stuck. Because your mind isn't conditioned to think way out there. So you're going to try to stay in your little list. But I want you to just open up your imagination. If you could have anything you wanted, put it on a piece of paper. Anything. How many cars? What kind of car? What color? Where you want your next house to be? Do you want a summer home? Where you want to travel to? How much you want in the bank? How much would you like to have to retire? What you want to leave for your grandkids? How much would you like to give all your siblings? Would you like to one day walk in and there and just give all your family a check? Put everything you want on a piece of paper. Do not stop until you have 300 things. It's going to take you a while. I'm telling you, when you get to 75, you, your brain going to lock up. But keep writing it down. But every morning, read your list. I don't want you watching TV at night. I want you to read your list, uh, unless it's family feud. Other than that, I just... No, but seriously, take five minutes and read your list every night, every morning. One year from today... One, wait one year from today and take a pen out and go down on your list and check off anything that has happened for you that's on that list. Listen to me. If you do that in faith, if you read your list with the expectation that God is going to do some great things for you, at the end of one year, you will be stunned, absolutely stunned at how much stuff comes off that list. I promise you, at least 30 things will be off that list. At minimum, 10% of your list will come true. You know how I know? Because I know a lot of people that done done it. But you know how I really know? Because I did it. When I open up my phone, I wish I had it. My phone is my vision board. My phone ain't got picture no damn dog on it, no sunset, none of that. All of my computers have my vision board on it. Every iPad, tablet I got, laptop. When I put it, I have my vision board on it. Because that's the signal I'm sending to God that I believe this is what you're going to do for me. You be, I take stuff. I got to get a new vision board now because there's a lot of stuff off that vision board that I put on there a year ago or two years ago that they came true. I'm telling you, y'all, this how this works. You have not cause your ass not and write the vision and make it plain. You do them two things starting today. Write your list, read it every morning, every night. One year, check it off, you'll be stunned. I dare you to try that. Watch and see what God do. God keep all his promises. I'm just telling you, thank y'all.